Just a few weeks to go to the election. Yes, it's the final countdown. News night in the house. Forget manifestos, speeches and billboard posters. If you're a politician and you really want to get your message across, what you need is music. For instance, who could forget this campaign classic? In 97, that song summed up the nation's mood. 13 years later though, and most people would probably rather shake politicians by the neck. But could music be the way to reconnect with the voters? Armed only with the Newsnight boombox and an entirely impartial outfit, I'm going on a mission to help Labour, the Tories and the Lib Dems come up with their very own election anthems. Songs that spell out exactly what they stand for. Representing the Conservatives, Grant Shapps. His cousin is Mick Jones from The Clash, but he prefers R&B. Do you get jiggy? I, 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 like to, I like to chill out when I listen to music. I'm not sure if I get jiggy, though. <laughs> For the Liberal Democrats, Sarah Tever. She likes Coldplay and Snow Patrol, but insists her party isn't middle of the road. If the Lib Dems were a style of music, what would you be? I don't know, maybe something like... Right, the machine. Oh, really? Right. Or... They're quite trendy. And finally, for Labour, Culture Secretary Ben Bradshaw. A keen clubber, he recently injured his knee dancing. It's the grinding, I think, that did it. <laughs> Were you bumping and grinding? I was bumping and grinding. That yeah. I would like to see. <laughs> First off, we need to brainstorm some lyrical ideas. In 97, that line, things can only get better, summed up everything that you stood for, didn't yeah, they? Yeah. And what we need is something like that this time round. A, a li one line that encapsulates what your message is in a selection? Um, well, I think, it, I think it has to be a, a, future, a future fair for all. I mean, there are sort of the alternative ones that you could come up with. We are securing the recovery. Don't let the Tories wreck it. Um, it's not that catchy. Uh, so, Ben, due to the unique way the BBC is funded, we have the Newsnight boombox. <laughs> um, I've got a few examples of styles of music to play you. I want to yeah. get your opinions and see okay. if you think it would work for the song. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. And when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Wanna... Yeah, I mean, you were that, really bopping there. That is, that, I mean, that would appeal to me more. Um, I still worry about the, um, about the grannies. I decided to hit Ben with one last idea. Something I'd written myself. All right, I'm going to do my rap for you. Here we go. Uh-huh, 2010, 6th of May, how you gonna vote on election day? Brown, heavyweight like David Hay, fighting for us all, tomorrow and today. Just metaphorically, you won't get hit. Is he a bully? Two words, bull shizzle. Hospitals and schools cannot be ignored. It's spending nut cuts with Alistair and Gord on. Partners, a duo like Snoop and Dr. Dre. Promoting growth, making debt go away. Better public services, children less poor. Got a great record, just don't mention the war. <laughs> Thank you, Exeter! You rock! What did you think? Well, I thought the lyrics were very good, actually. Really? I, mean, I thought you summed up... Yeah, you summed stuff up really well. What about comparing uh, Alistair Gordon to Snoop and Dr. Dre? Um, well, that one was kind of beyond me, really. But... It's time to catch up with the Conservatives. Which isn't as easy as it sounds. Grant Shapps doesn't walk the campaign trail, he runs. Political disillusionment covers all ages, even well in Garden City male voice choir. I'm trying to write songs for each of the parties to help them get their messages across. Do you think that's a good way of communicating with people? Yes, through music always. Do you think it's a good way of reaching young people? With the right music. <laughs> what would be the right music? Well, one or two that we sing, like Bohemian Rhapsody. OK. Yeah. So, what does Grant want in the Tory anthem? 
people are sick of Gordon Brown, the idea of another five years, I think, fills quite a lot of people with fear. Broken Britain, vote for change. Yes. Do you want to put those in the song? Should they be lyrics? I think you should definitely have change the economy. I would, I would say so. Change the economy should be in there. Change society, that whole big society, what these guys big are Big society. That, yeah. I've heard I that a few times. you should definitely have that So in we'll there. put that in, OK. Yeah. It would be wrong to produce a song about the modern Conservative parties which didn't have the letters NHS in okay. it. It's our number one priority okay. in government. There's some quite catchy songs with uh, just letters and stuff, like YMCA, yes. D-I-S-C-O, yes. NHS. Yes, I think we can make that work. Is there something Definitely. we can do with that? Yeah, I think so. Maybe do the arms as well, N-H-S. I had something to play Grant too. Listen to me, if you're feeling ignored. 13 years of labour, maybe you're bored. From boom to bust, this country's a mess. Schools are in trouble, so's the NHS. But I got some news for you girls and guys. We're totally opposed to a national insurance rise. Vote conservative, tax breaks for married folks. Greater accountability, where it counts the most, oh yeah. Oh, conservative, oh yeah. If you've got the Gordon Blues, just read our manifesto. You just might share our views. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, welcome to the that's brilliant. I mean, we, you know, I hope we've got all the right words in our manifesto after listening to that. We may have to rewrite sections. Oh, really? I know you thought you were bad, trying to steal bangers, but now you're in the sky, all because a bandana's so dumb. Lib Dem Sarah Teva was once the youngest MP in the House. But is she still down with the kids? What we're trying to do here, like with our election anthem, we're trying to get the policies across but through music. Do you think that's a way that might make people listen to them more? It depends what style of music you would put you use to promote your, um, your party. So does that really matter? Does it have to be really one kind of style of music or if it's, it you know, several different Because right now, the really hottest type of music out there is funky house and UK grind. What was the important things if we boiled it down to a few key words and phrases? The important thing is, is about fairness. I mean, okay. our key themes are, are around fair taxes and uh, fair education, fair starting for our children. Is there a, a kind of phrase in the manifesto that we could put in there? I think it would be something along the lines of a fresh start and something new and not the same old blue, red, red, blue. Okay. Hey, it rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> is Vince Cable your secret weapon, do you think? Uh, he seems I don't think so he's, popular. I was going to say, I'm not sure he's very secret, really. I okay, think he's right, using right. him on everything. <laughs> okay. is, he, is he an I overt weapon? Our, I think he's our upfront weapon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shall I describe him as that? Vince our Cable, upfront weapon. Up front weapon. Front weapon. Whether that whether actually sounds quite rude, so I'm not <laughs> yeah, sure no, that no, should go in the song. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I had a surprise for Sarah. A song I'd written, sung <laughs> by a barbershop yeah. quartet. <laughs> Go and vote, Lib Dem. Come on, come on, just vote for them. On election day, if you're Labour or Tory, then you're gonna get beat. So you can say goodbye to your marginal seat. Like you can do South and Victoria, Devon, West and Torridge. We love Nick Clegg, Vince Cable too. They're a super pair. Super duper. Gordon Brown can just get lost. Cameron makes me swear. Blast. It's brilliant. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next week, I'll be taking the politicians' words and turning them into songs with the help of some chart-topping pop stars. Their main tagline for this campaign is change that works for you, building a fairer Britain. I think there might be a colon in the middle. There's a colon somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.